Today I'm going to make the necklace. I'm going to show you how to make this necklace that I wore in one of my videos. Someone asked, Chris, Chrissy asked me to show you how I do it. And it really isn't that difficult. You need a bit of choker wire and you can order those things from bead supply shops. They come in actually quite large hoops and you simply cut off the length that you want. And it's advisable for the average neck that you make the two ends halfway down. I happen to have more of the supplies. So you take a polished amethyst stone for, for the other side of the pond. I will post the um, URL, the link for firemountaingems.com. They're the ones who you can find this from. And you can see that they come with a fairly large hole at the tip. So all you have to do is take that hole and put the stone through. Just keep pushing until you get the stone through and bring it right the way down to the centre of where you want things to go. Next, I take a pearl. This is a peacock dyed pearl. And you can see, let's see if I can position this. There, you see that pearl? You want to thread that pearl through and then put another one on the other side. Put it through. Now these pieces are called freeform frangia, also came from Iron Mountain Gems. They're mother of pearl and they come in both white and natural. They have these little holes. Let's see if I can focus this. Come on, focus. There you see it through the white shine. You'll see a little point and that little point is the hole. You want to put the hole so that it lands facing the stone. I have to learn how to where to put this. So since I want it to face this way, I thread it through the opposite way and it lands that way. So you want it facing this way to wrap around the stone. You thread it the opposite and then it lands the correct way. And you put another one on the other side. So you now have the beginning. Next, I took two, I think these are C grade pearls. They have a bit more different, they have different shapes to them. They're not just round. Let me see if I can get a couple. Of they have different shapes to them so that, oh, I don't think you can quite see that because of the sun, but that way you get a bit more of a texture to the look and the holes are at, let's see if I can get that focused. can just about see the hole. 
Now, the thing about pearls is that not every hole is going to be the same size. So you'll actually go through all of your pearls to find one with the hole the right size to go over. There it is. The right size to go over this choker wire. And you get one and it goes. This one, the hole is through the end, so it'll be long wise. You get one lengthwise and it goes. Okay. Then glass beads which have been treated with a bit of colour. One each side. And then another pearl each side. There's one on the other side. Okay, so you keep doing that until you get to the point where you want to add the bigger one. And these are the same thing, but they're just larger. It's a, like a glass nugget bead. This one, the color is painted inside a mirrored backing so that if you turn it this way that's the look you get and you just thread that on and then you carry on again with that same pearl bead pearl bead until you get to the end and this part you have to have the right tools. This is beading grips. And the this is because of the tool magic rubber. I don't make fine jewelry anymore, so it doesn't matter. But when I made fine jewelry with gold and sterling silver, I didn't want the grips scratching it. So I put I dipped it in the tool magic and it put a coating on it that prevented that. So if you wanted to make nicer things, you would want to get that. But what you would then do to make your life easier is take this wire and you want to do the opposite. You want to pull it up. There we go, up into a circle. I'm trying to get used to what you can and can't see on here. But you put it into a circle and make certain that the circle is adequately closed. Then you take a jump ring, which is split Open it slightly, just take for your finger on one side and the grips on the other or your finger if you're that strong and just do that. Just pull it open. Then you thread it through that hoop, close it and make certain that it's closed all the way. I don't know if you could really see that but it's closed all the way on the other side though now you have two options you can use a jump ring and then put this on it or if you really want to make your life difficult 
you can try to thread it through the end of the clasp and then wrap it round that way. Especially for beginners, I highly recommend just using a jump ring. But what you would do is give it a turn, bring the, bring the clasp up where it's beginning to stop, hold it there and give it more of a turn. And as I say, this is the more difficult way to do it. The advantage to it is that it makes it less likely that the clasp will pop off of the necklace if you're out and about and things are pulling on it. So once you get that loop closed around it, there you have it. If you have any little edges, you can close this more completely with another pair of grips. Grip the, the hoop part and make it crush closed. This end is the most difficult end. It, it really is. And you have to straighten it. Make certain that it's closed completely. Okay. And once you get it closed, can you see that? Once you get it completely closed, if you have an edge, all you have to do is get, you do need the correct tools. It's, it's easily done, but with the correct tools. If you have any little tip, just take a file, jewelry making file for metal, and just do that until the tip blends in. And it takes a bit of time to just sit there and keep filing it until it gets right. But when you're done, that, then you would have the necklace. Now the thing about the choker wire is that it is so extremely inexpensive that as you're learning, if you make mistakes, and that's just not going to work. Wire cutter. Cut it off. Try again. And after you've done that a few times, you'll find yourself able to just very quickly and easily make a necklace. This is my own design. And... That's not as much of a boast as one might think because, because really at the end of the day, all you have to do is see in your mind what you think would look pretty and make it. And then you have your own jewellery. And another time, the other video, I'll make the dangly earrings that I had made to go with it and I'll show you how I made those with those same glass beads and a bit of chain. That's all it takes. And I've discovered that I'm out of some of those supplies. So I've just put in an order to the bead shop. And on this side of the pond, the bead shop is quite inexpensive. I've bought things from them for a few years now. And... Um, so those particular supplies are simply not expensive at all. You can buy 200 of the jump rings for a couple of pounds, 200 of the clasps for a couple of pounds, chain, uh, the choker wire, all of that. So I'll show you how I did those things for the earrings in another video and hopefully you'll Feel like trying this for yourself and don't get discouraged because the choker wire will take a little bit of time to master 
because of that. Don't let yourself get discouraged. Just keep trying. Cut it off if it goes wrong. Try again. And if you cut it off till you've just got this much choker wire, well, make another loop and try again. It's so inexpensive that you can afford to keep trying until you make it right. And I think that the pearls I ordered also from Fire Mountain Gem. The, the only place I've rarely found where I can order pearls here, curiousgems.co.uk. I'll put a, blank, a link there as well. But I'll actually I'll put that link when I'm showing you how I make the, the fine pearl necklaces because they only sell fine pearls and they won't have this same texture, the same different shapes, etc. They're they're triple A plus and they are expensive. So if you if you can order, if you are on the other side of the pond and you can't can order from Fire Mountain Gems, you'll be able to get these pearls fairly cheaply. If you're on this side of the pond, let's not forget that ever since Brexit, for whatever reason, things shipping from America also became more complicated. I didn't see the connection, but I certainly did see the price. Two things I discovered was that customs went up so that I was looking at paying as much for customs as I was paying for the order itself. Shipping was extraordinary. We used to be able to do our own customs paperwork. I did it all the time, it's dead easy. They stopped allowing us to do that and did it themselves and charged us a £12 fee for the privilege. Then when the item came to the door, and this is after Brexit, when the item came to the door, the post office was saying, you owe us eight more pound for the process. And I told them, actually, I don't, because I paid all of the charges from their door to mine. Sing for it. And so I just finally stopped ordering overseas it's really not worth it at all as amazing as their products are it's not worth it at all you can't even send gifts from america to here anymore without that problem a friend of mine tried to send me a gift and the post office still wanted eight pound at the door i told him sing for it she got the gift back and i told her we're not sending each other anything anymore so that used to be something that we enjoyed doing because I met her when I was going through California and we used to enjoy doing that. But ever since Brexit, for some reason, things changed everywhere. Maybe it was coincidence. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I can't say. But it's, yeah. So you can only do certain things on that side of the pond and you can only do certain things on this side of the pond and I'll try to make that information also available so Chrissy you will be able to buy all of these supplies from Buy Mountain Gems and I'll put the link down there but for the rest of my friends who are over here I'll have to show you other things and I do have a lot of other things that I'll be making these these necklaces. I realized that I was partly through a lot of projects that I'd started and hadn't finished. And so I might as well show what I'm able to get, what I'm able to do. And you guys could actually find yourselves making your own styles of jewelry. Because once you get the idea of how to actually string something, for lack of a better word. It will set your imagination free. You'll be able to do basically anything you can picture in your mind. If you have an outfit and you can't find just the right colours or just the right look for what you want, 
make it yourself and you'll save a lot of money doing so because these supplies aren't expensive. I've got semi-precious stones like jaspers. They're just a few pounds a strand. So trying to buy a necklace like that on the high street, you'd pay upwards of £20. So just do it yourself. So I hope that you've enjoyed this and I'll talk to you at the next one.